Hello, my name is Mark Perella. This YouTube describes all the gear that I will be bringing with me on my expedition to Amada Blanc. I am starting my pack out for Amada Blanc and I want to show you a little bit of the gear that I'll be bringing with me. So without further ado, let's get started because this is a pretty big gear list. start with the basics as in base layers. First off, I do have four pairs of merino wool boxers, briefs, top and bottom base layer, 200 base icebreakers. Um, the next one I'll be bringing is bottom and tops, uh, 260 weight. Lastly, I'll be bringing a polar fleece heavy base layer that will probably be used only on summit day. When it comes to warmth and comfort, merino wool is my choice. Okay, moving on from base layer, let's talk socks. So, for hiking in, I have a light pair of socks right here. These are hiking socks, and they're darn tough socks. Along with that, I have a little bit of a heavier pair, but it's more like a mid-weight style darn tough wool sock. I'll bring two sock liners with me. Then, I'm gonna bring three heavy pairs, one that I'll save and won't even wear until summit day. On to top layers that I'm gonna be wearing. The first one I'm gonna be bringing with me is a short sleeve merino wool wicking t-shirt. The next one is a long sleeve sun hoodie. My mid layers, I have uh, an Arteryx hooded long sleeve shirt. And then I have another really light kind of fleece t-shirt that I'll be wearing as a mid-layer as well. The next I have is the R1 Patagonia hoodie. My Mountain Hardware stretch puffy, light puffy jacket. My Mountain Hardware Nihilus. And this is just another heavier puffy. My Zero Down Mountain Hardware Parka. And this thing's 800 fill down and this thing keeps me really warm. Weather gets a little wet, I have my Arteric shell. So that is what I have for my layers for my tops. Over the next layers I have, which are gonna be my bottoms. Of course I have the base layers, the 200 weight and the 260 weight merino wool base layers, as well as a Calpin full body. But also, I'm gonna bring with me, number one, what I'll be wearing pretty much every day, are my soft shells. If weather gets wet, I have the Mountain Hardware um, waterproof pants. Colder temperatures, when I'm at base camp and stuff, I probably will be using my Mountain Hardware puffy down pants. This is the Mountain Hardware down suit I'll be wearing. The biggest thing that I usually have issues with when I'm climbing is what do I bring for glove systems? I'm bringing about eight or nine pairs of gloves right now. We're gonna go through all of them really quick. The first pair of gloves that I have are very light pair. This is a sun pair. The next pair I have are gonna be two kind of soft shell pairs. For climbing the Golden Tower, I do have a pair of belay gloves, leather gloves, which are gonna help me out a lot. Now with these, I will be layering them with another pair of gloves. So this would be a system that I would be working on the Golden Tower if it gets really cold. The next pair of gloves I'm gonna have at base camp and maybe higher up at camp one are a pair of black diamond fleece gloves. For going up on summit day, you're gonna be working with the rope and Jumars and all that nice axes. So I'm gonna have for a base layer, a pair of outdoor research down gloves that I can use and I can use these along with the Black Diamond Guide claws. If it's a little warmer out, I have the Black Diamond gloves with the five fingers. For extreme colds, and especially near the top, I'm gonna to be bringing my Mountain Hardware 8,000 meter gloves. So that's my glove system, and a lot of the gloves are gonna be a layering factor in between, 
and hopefully that'll keep my hands warm during the entire climb. Going along with gloves, let's talk about the several buffs I'll be bringing. Uh, a lot of time these buffs are not really just to keep your face out of the wind, but you put it over your mouth and it'll help keep moisture in, especially in that dry alpine air that can just suck the moisture out. Extremely cold day, I got a balaclava, uh, a nice fleece one with the face mask on the front. I got my glacier goggles. You've probably seen pictures of me and my lovely white gla glacier goggles. Along with this, I have a backup pair, which are really comfortable. Uh, I like these a lot. I have my Smith goggles, and these will keep the sun as well as the wind out of my eyes. Let's talk footwear. First off, I'll be bringing my barefoot sandals. I'll probably be walking from Lukla up to base camp and a pair of trail shoes like this. I will be bringing also my, uh, my X4s, La Sportivas, these are scrambling shoes. So these are great for on class four and even some class five. For our base camp, I got my caribou big old boots right here. These things are heavy, but these are very comfortable. I got my booties right here, my mountain booties. And for mountaineering boots, I have my La Sportiva Olympus Mons Evos. Footwear can make or break your hike or climb. Make sure that you choose the right equipment for the job. Okay, a few other big things that I'm taking with me is number one, my sleeping bag I'm bringing is the Mountain Hardware Phantom Negative 40 sleeping bag to carry all that stuff up. I got the Black Diamond Mission 75. On my trip up to base camp, I'm going to be using my uh, Hyperlite bag, 55 liter. Let's get into the climbing gear for this trip. So number one, of course, the whole safety, whatever. I have my helmet, my Black Diamond helmet. I am bringing my Black Diamond guide um, climbing harness with gear loops. I have my hiking poles, trekking poles going up to base camp, and I have the baskets for these as well. I'm bringing my Petzl Quirk. I have my gear, my slings, my Prusik, my Jumar. Need this for getting up and down the rope. I actually have here a Jumar system that I can attach to my harness right here. My Petzl Reverso, some extra six millimeter cord, a personal anchor because, geez, personal anchor always seems to come in handy. So that's what I got for my climbing gear. I am going to be using this, especially going to base camp. It's my three liter Osprey Reservoir. Higher up on the mountain, I'm gonna be bringing two Nalgene bottles. And with those Nalgene bottles, I have the parkas so that the water doesn't freeze. Lastly, for water, I have my pee bottle. Smaller items in the pack out include snack food, passport, two luggage locks, plastic bowl, spoon, mug, two lighters, two headlamps, heavy duty garbage bag, Ziploc bag, stuff sack, sunscreen, lip balm, personal first aid kit, and toiletries. Okay, so I got everything laid out for the third time, and this will be the third and last pack out before I go to Nepal on Sunday. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the entire list of everything that I need for the trip. Then I'm gonna pack it into three separate bags. One bag, the big duffel bag here, that's going to go directly to base camp of Amina Blom. The second big duffel bag, which is going to go with me on my trip from Lukla all the way to base camp. And then I have my smaller pack, which I'm gonna take with me for travel on the plane and have with me the entire trip. So let's get to it.